Machen wir weiter mit dem Thema IT-OT-Integration. Also wann immer man über Smart Manufacturing, Industrie 4.0 etc. spricht, dann ist das ein Knackpunkt, die Integration von IT und OT. Und darüber wird jetzt Daniel Sukowski von Tesla sprechen. Und äh, ja, wenn er verkabelt ist und soweit ist, dann dürfte er jetzt auf die Bühne kommen. Dauert noch? Okay, dann äh, machen wir kurz weiter, beziehungsweise ich erkläre nochmal, dass wir nachher ein Roundtable haben um 13 bis 14 Uhr von Munich Eye, ein CEO, CEO Roundtable hier auf der Bühne und um 15 bis 15.30 Uhr auch noch nochmal ein Panel, ebenfalls hier auf der Bühne, äh, so zum Thema Robotik, äh, schöner Leben und Arbeiten mit Robotik, äh, viele verschiedene Anwendungsszenarien, die wir uns davor die wir uns da anschauen wollen und dazwischen natürlich dann jede Menge Vorträge noch und äh, nochmal ein Hinweis auf die Testzone, wer äh, Roboter selbst mal, Cobots selbst ausprobieren möchte und äh, Hand anlegen möchte, der kann das hier direkt nebendran im Forum in der Testzone machen. So, aber dann äh, können wir jetzt loslegen. Äh, Johannes Liegert von Pessler mit dem Thema IT-OT-Integration. Bitteschön. Dankeschön. Moment. Wo ist der Zurück-Button? Ah, okay. So, um, I'm gonna be in English, or let's make a quick check. Uh, who is German, who is English? So, so what's the preferred German, English? I don't mind. Okay, let, let's go with English and you get the proper translation. Be because if I speak German, then you don't understand me. Oh. Okay, so um, obviously I'm not Daniel Zukowski, as you can see, because I have much more hair as here. But uh, unfortunately, the colleague is sick today, so uh, I jump in um, to give the presentation. Um, just a few slides about us. So Pestle is a German-based company. We sit in Nuremberg, and we develop network monitoring software. Um, development is only in Germany, but we have sales and support globally, worldwide. Uh, what's the story about IT-OT integration, and especially with our product PDG? So we as a company come from the IT world. Our product is out there since 20, 20 years now. We monitor uh, data centers, uh, IT across the globe, right? But we see more and more customers are moving, also as the title says, into digitalization. So they digitalize their production, uh, their plants, uh, the energy market is digitalizing heavily. And that's why we are also um, affected from this change, because now our software needs to also conquer these challenges, right? Uh, one thing we saw in the past in the IT world is that every vendor provides his own solution to, for monitoring his stuff, right? So if you, if you have a printer, you've got a printer software. If you have a server management, you have your own server management software, right? If you have your phone, you have your own phone software. And in the IT world, what happened is basically that the whole market segregated in the end, and there are major players. And that's what we call consolidated monitoring. And that's exactly the same thing that happens now in the OT world, because now every machine builder, every vendor provides its own monitoring solutions. Like you get a solution from Siemens, you get one from ABB, right? But there's non-universal solution that tackles all the different vendors, because that would be the easiest thing for the customer in the end, right? And that's what we try to achieve with our solution. So we want to bring everything into one solution. So it's a unified solution that tackles all the different aspects of the world. IT and OT, because nowadays, if we say about digitalization, IT is the backbone of every production. When we speak about automation 4.0, or what the colleague said before about remote uh, access and IoT, without IT, it doesn't work. You can't do remote access without an IoT gateway. You can't do a proper manufacturing planning without your MES system. You can't sell your products if you don't have a web shop. So the whole chain from buying to selling and shipping is connected through the IT world. And that's why you need um, a unified solution. I skipped some, some slides because the time um, is pretty short. And I don't want to advertise the product itself because I would like that you learn something out of the presentation instead of just knowing that we have a good product because you will learn it anyway. Um, so let's talk about IT-OT convergence and what does it mean for you as a user or as a machine builder or just as a customer. As we heard before, the worlds are currently slightly um, different. 
So we have the IT world that takes care about the web shops, the ERP system, the databases, the, the whole enterprise IT of a production company, right, or energy company. And we have the OT side. So the manufacturing side, we have the MES systems, SCADA, DCS, PLCs, HMIs, everything, if you know the control permit, that sits in the OT world. But as I said before, these worlds are now connected even more, and they will become even more connected. Because when we hear the buzzwords sensor to cloud, that's exactly what it means. If you send sensor values from the field level to the cloud, you need a whole connection through all aspects using IT. And you can tackle such a situation using a tool, for example, like our solution, PLDG, to get an overview if all components are working fine, if everything is uh, working, so you can build up the whole chain actually to see if it's working out or not. So as an example here, when we say about data from the shop floor, we have our PLCs, we have the HMIs that send data to the second layer, third layer, right? And even in very modern ways or IoT solution, they send it even to the cloud. So we try to catch every endpoint in the system and check their state and if the connections are working fine. I mean, marketing slides, doesn't matter. We have a good solution. That's what I know. So when we look now at the situation, what we see at our customer sites, they have already a good network monitoring, monitoring solution. That's what we have, PRDG. And this solution is used to monitor the OT equipment and the IT equipment. So our solution monitors the industrial routers, the switches, the MES, the SCADA systems. It checks if UA servers are up and running, the condition of the machines partially. So we monitor already the equipment that's there, but one link is missing, and that's the important part about ITOT um, integration. Because always there is a supervisory and control system, right? And this could be anything. This could be an HMI, this could be a SCADA, it could be a DCS, could be even a PLC. So there are very various ways of control systems. Even if we go away from the pure OT, if we think about data centers, a data center has also cooling equipment, uh, fire extinguishers, entry systems, that's all OT, also labeled OT, and you have also control systems there. Even if we go into building management, we have control systems, building management system. They take care about heating, uh, the, the shadowing, cooling, all that stuff, and also their OT equipment is uh, in there. So if we want to build up the whole picture, supervisory and control, you find in every branch out there on this planet with various components. And what we now try to do actually is closing the gap between IT and OT, by providing an interface, and that's so-called our PDG OPCA server. And what this thing is doing, we enable our customers to grab their alerts and their data from the IT monitoring side to integrate into their control systems. That means if you have a SCADA, for example, we show you inside your SCADA that you have trouble with your routers, that the Wi-Fi connection is bad, that your PLC is running out, the certificate is running out, so the connection will stop in the next hour, two days, right? So we, we close the gap here, and I will go into details a little bit later. If you want to see an example how this actually looks like, uh, feel free to join our booth. So we are in B6119 uh, with our partner Siemens. Uh, there we show the Siemens Industrial Edge Data Center. So that's an industrial data center for production sites. Siemens provides it as a managed service. They give you the servers, everything maintained from Siemens, and they run their uh, control systems there, like PCS7, WinCC, that's running in this data center. And we are actually monitoring the components of Siemens in this data center and provide the status to the DC, uh, DCS system. So in this case, PCS7. And we have that on the booth. So if you come by, then you can see actually in PCS7 the state of their equipment inside the control system. Uh, currently, we do that integration using two ways, but always with OPCA. Because I'm a huge fan of OPCA. The company is a huge fan of OPCA. And I guess that's definitely the future. Because OPCA gives you so much potential to be secure, unified. Everyone understands it. So when we come to third-party providers, I don't need to care if uh, the, uh, the, the third-party provider understands my API. Because if they speak OPCA and I provide a server, everyone can get the data. It doesn't matter if it's a PLC, an HMI, a DCS. It doesn't matter. Because once they have a UA client, they can read it. So we do it, as I say, two ways. We can do it one way. We act as a client and send out alerts to the systems by writing into the tags of a server, for example, but that's the boring way. We found a way better way now. And that's the, the lower part, the UA server itself. So what we do here is that we provide all alarms and data we have, and I'll show you in a second, to the control system. And inside the control system, we have now a magic point because our alerts are shown in the control system and can be actively acknowledged by the operator. 
That means if the alarm message pops up, we have a trouble in your switch for production line one, two, three, he sees actually the message and is aware that there's a problem. If the machine is not responding, he has no clue, but now he gets the second part and knows, oh, we have a network issue. Probably I don't need to call the maintenance guys. I need to talk to the IT guys to fix the problem, right? And then he can enter a message and say, I switched to line four. Guys, can you take please care of it? Acknowledged, and this message is transferred back to our system. And that's the true integration of ITOT. Both systems know the state, both systems are linked, and humans even doesn't need to talk to each other because they already have the same information in both systems. So I have here one, one uh, small example. I wish we have a brick production, uh, like uh, Lego, whatever, right? So they produce small bricks, and we have our system running there, and it says, hey, we have an alarm on switch, uh, the switch for machine three or the IoT gateway for machine three is broken down. So the connection to the machine is actually broken. What's happening now? Our software alerts to the control system and on the control system, the screen pops up and say, oh, switch three is down, right? So the operator can say, okay, as I said before, we switched to another machine, to another production line, right? All good, we can solve that issue because we know it's actually an IT problem. He types the message, all cool. And then the IT guy responsible for the network is probably on the weekend back at home on the couch, right? He has the mobile phone, the message pops up, oh, we have a down issue in the production line three, but the operator is aware of it. So I don't need to rush into the uh, plant immediately because they have a solution. So maybe I can even wait for the next day to have regular hours, right? Regular working hours. That means the company saves actually time because the, the person does need to drive into the plant. He does need to start working on the weekend so he can relax. So he relaxed on the next working day. Uh, so we have many, many sa savings just from time we save by doing this communication, right? And this is a universal solution. As I said, we ba are based on OPCA. So this can be integrated in any use case, actually. So when we think about data center, as I said before, if you have a data, data center control system, we can integrate our alarms into that system. If we go into production, as I said, we can go with the HMI, with the PLC, with the SCADA, with an MES, with a DCS. And that's what's actually happening right now on this planet because customers are utilizing this solution already. If we go into building management, we have the same benefit. And also in logistics because Automation is everywhere, right? In the logistics center, you have also PLCs, the HMIs that control something. And that's the benefit. One solution that fits to every use case because we are based on standards. And if products understand the standards, it's a very easy integration. So if we bring it down to the three major use cases such a solution can provide, the first thing is we make our data actually available. That means if we, for example, have certain IoT sensors that just send YMQDT, and your control system doesn't understand MQDT for whatever reason, you can now give our, the data we collect with our system using OPCA to the control system. But that's the, the smallest benefit. The true ones is actually that you now can create dashboards in your SCADA system that show you the state of components the operator is usually not aware of, right? Because as I'm a machine operator, I don't mind about the firewall or something, right? But now he can even get just a screen that says, it pops up and it's that yellow, green, or red, right? He does need to know if a network switch port is down. That's way out of his business. But he needs to know that something is actually wrong so he can do the right decision at the right time and not just um, look around. And the, the last thing I showed is already the centralized alarms and notification because usually in your SCADA system, you have already alarm chain, right? So when something goes down in the plant, there's already an alarm chain that says it sends some SMS to somebody, there will be emails. Uh, escalation systems, that's already integrated in your DCS, right? No need to do another system that does it for you. Just provide alarms into the central control system and the alert chain is still intact, even with data you don't have before. Um, I skip that one. Because if you're interested, you can anyway come to our booth, P6119, and then we can do the, the detailed stuff, right? And because I was quite fast, as usually, so uh, bear with me. And even if I'm not Daniel, uh, I'm here for questions. So, dem schließe ich mich an. Gibt es denn Fragen?